rest of explanation of a letter. I have already shared a video of how to write a letter for beginners and for the students about grade 6. Today I will be explaining how can you fetch more marks by writing a letter. I will be sharing the link of the video of how to generate a letter in your comment section. So let's see how do we write it. We all know first of all we always write the sender's address. So before we write let us first read the question and find out who is the sender and who is the receiver. It says you have to write a letter to your friend, to your friend sharing your excitement. It means you are writing a letter to your friend. So you are the sender and your friend is the receiver. I always say if you don't know how to write an address, always write 1, 2, 3, X, Y, Z. Right? You can write any city, say Amala, followed by the date. Always keep in mind we always write full date. For example, today is 5th of July. 2021. Then we know that we have to write a salutation. What is a salutation? To whom you are writing, we write greetings. So you are writing to your friend, say like I write, dear Parth. So I am going to address this letter to a boy whose name is Parth. Right? So this is the basic structure of letter. So now I will be completing this letter then I will tell you how I have used different vocabulary in order to fetch four more marks. Right? So let us write and read it one by one, line by line, word by word. So let's do it. So as I was telling, let's learn with the example. It says, we have already learned this, how to write your address your date and your salutation. Now comes how to fetch marks while writing. I have written, I hope you are in pink of your health or I hope you are fit as a fiddle or I hope you are sailing in a safe boat. All these three expressions, they tell us that I am hoping for your good health. Like usually we write, I hope. Hi, hello, how are you? I hope you are fine. This is very monotonous and this won't fetch marks. But when you write something that captivates or captures the interest of the reader, you should write, I hope you are in pink of your health or I hope you are fit as a fiddle or I hope you are sailing in a safe boat. Then, I can't wait to express my feelings as I am blessed with little angel. So now, Path is telling, sorry, uh, this boy, Sarth, he is telling that I am blessed with a little angel. Now here you are giving a hint to your friend that I am going to write this letter about how excited I am about the little angel who has come to our family. See, I have written this expression blessed with. So whenever you have to share your, uh, you can say, uh, your own feelings for related, that is related to some girl, you can always write angel. Right? And when you feel happy, you can always say blessed. Like if you have your brother married, you can share that feeling with your friend. I am blessed to have such a sister-in-law. Right? So it is just an expression of share. Next. God has bestowed me with the sister. Bestowed means has given. This is also a good phrase. You can say, I am bestowed with a beautiful family. I am blessed. I am given a very beautiful family by God. She has captivating looks. Captivating means capturing something that is ma having magnetic influence. So she has having captivating looks. She possesses glittery eyes with a mesmerizing smile. Now I'm talking about her eyes and her smile. Her eyes are glittery. Glittery means shining. You can use both the words. Glittery or shining both are fine. And mesmerizing smile. Mesmerizing means <clears throat> when you can't take your eyes off of something, we use mesmerizing. Her first glance was purely divine. See, now I'm talking that when I looked at her for the first time, I was, it, that feeling was divine, that feeling was spiritual, as if I am surrounded by some fairies and divine power. Now I realize when you used to go gaga about your sibling. So now what is this go gaga? It means when you used to talk so much about your sibling. Sibling means your brother or sister. So here I am not referring what his, uh, his or her friend is having, a boy or a girl. 
but now he's saying that now I can understand that why you used to talk so much about your sibling, right? Last, we'll share our pictures soon. Pay regards to uncle and aunt. So, my dear students, always keep in mind that a little bit of good vocabulary assists you in fetching more marks. For example, captivating. Rather than writing um, uh, capturing, I've written captivating. Rather than shiny, I've written glittery. Rather than having first look, I've written first glance. Right? Going gaga. Or rather than saying when you used to talk so much, I've written going gaga. Rather than having brother or sister, I've written sibling. So this is a way of fetching marks. Always try to read books in order to get vocabulary or now you can find out simple words and you can generate your own dictionary by writing its interesting synonyms which you can use it. And how do we use it? Usually students ask me how do we enhance our vocabulary. The best way like here, glittery. So your homework for today is find five synonyms like five words with the same meaning as glittery and try to use them in this letter right so likewise you do a lot of other things like this you find out the word and you find synonym then write it in your notebook and try to use them in different writing skills this is the only way you can enhance your letter writing or your other writing skills i hope you're fine with this if you have any problem please write it in the comment box or if you want me to write any letter any informal letter for you i will be happy to write it please do like share subscribe until then take care ciao